See how, like, you know, everywhere you go, you hear about Joy Prime. Don't worry, Don't worry. Guess who is in the building? Coming all the way from New Jersey, Comerica, y'all. From Paul. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing amazing. Nice to see you. Too. Nice to see you. It's good to have you here. Sure. Thanks. Hey, <laughs> I mean, when do you land in Accra? Uh, I've been here for like two weeks now. Okay, I'm enjoying weeks. my stay. Oh, okay. All right. Has it been good? It's been good. They say Accra is expensive. Yes, yeah. I'm just not getting plenty fufu. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. But it's been good. It's Welcome been amazing. Welcome to Accra. Yes, thanks. So you're enjoying the kinky? Yes, I'm enjoying the kinky. Um, the kinky, them fish, then. Those small, small ones, I did not call them. And money? No. Uh, um, Ketar school boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One month thousand. One month thousand, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, but where did you get one thousand from in Accra? Yeah. Um, I think we went to Laboni. Laboni, hey. yes. And it went you? Kakra, Mabato. <laughs> <laughs> so how long are you staying? Um, I think I'll be here for a while, for like a month before I move to um, Sunyane, then okay. to Takra. Oh, wow. Yes. Why well, you having a nationwide tour? Yes, yes. I'm putting all my, my very best on this song. Yes. Mm. I'm going everywhere I can go. How has it been? It's been amazing. I mean, two weeks into release and it's been very good. Yes. The streams are coming. We started a TikTok challenge and yeah, the reception has been good. So, mm. yes. Are you using an academy? We have the DWPs, we have uh, the Ziggy and all of that. Are you using any of these uh, academies? Not contacted, yet, contacted them yet, but I'm hoping to meet them. Okay, so which, what's the TikTok trend then? Yes, um, the trend is, I mean... Um, it's the, a dance. No, it's not a dance. It's okay. just me singing it and then people are tapping into the sound all over and then, yeah, it's working. Oh, so it's a sing-along? It's a sing-along something. I started, okay. and then when I started, I had... Um, two weeks back, I had like 7K. I was not actually... Oh, wow. Very um, consistent with my TikTok, but I mean, my team advised that we use that as a medium of promotion. So I mean, yeah. we started and it's been very good. I mean, now we, we have seven key likes. Now we have like thirty-seven or something. Hey, yes, within two weeks, and I'm enjoying it. I know, right? TikTok, yes. TikTok is addictive. Actually. Yes, yes, yes. Very addictive. I'm enjoying it. Like I feel. It provides a platform where there are no middlemen. You get to interact with the fan base personally yourself, mm. and then you cut all middlemen away. So, I mean, it's been very good. Mm. Yeah, it's been You've been good. doing music for eight years? Yes. My first official single in 2016. Yes. That long? Yes. Do you sometimes feel you're underrated? Um, underrated? You feel it sometimes? Sometimes, sometimes. But I think um, uh, nothing good comes easy. And um, the mindset is that I'm ready to pay whatever price it is. So in as much as there are times where I feel I'm being slept on, underrated and all, I still feel, um, I mean, I know people that, that came in the game for over 10 years and they, they made it in their... Paluta was there way before me. Yeah. He's now blowing everywhere and I'm happy yeah. for the brother. So yeah. if Paluta has been here for like 15 years and blew it, I mean, eight years is just some small number. Yes. A small number. Yeah. But you said you are willing to do anything. Anything legit, godly. <laughs> before, before the media people start misconstrued stories. I didn't need to, need to find out. What are you willing to do? Anything Will you legit. lie in a casket? Oh no, no. Will you sacrifice if they ask you to sacrifice? No. What's that? Anything? I'm doing sacrifices for that one. What sacrifice have you done so far? Yes, like I've sacrificed the comfort of my home and I'm in Accra, the comfort of eating the. Fufu in Ashtown on every Sunday, the comfort of going to places to hang out with my friends. Now I'm here doing it, so yes. Um, I've sacrificed uh, um, the comfort and I'm here doing it, so yes. So you've been in Accra for two weeks. Two Can weeks. Can we see you relocating to Accra anytime soon? Hopefully. Hopefully. You know, most of your colleagues in Kumasi are of the opinion that, you know, if you want to blow, you have to move to Accra. Do you agree? Um, that statement is. Halfway through, halfway, because I think like event centers, the media concentration, how active the um, everything is going on in Accra. I mean, if you are here, you get to be more intense in, in whatever you are doing. But back then, not like the people in Kumasi are not doing our best. But uh, I mean, we don't have the media as concentrated as in Accra. You can like I have a visuals to the song. I need to be in Accra for promotions. If you don't promote it in Accra, you no go blow? You go blow, but unless you use the social media, 
but I mean, the traditional media trying to air, because in as much as the social media is, be, is being very influential, we can also undermine the, the essence of the traditional media. So, so, yes, you need to do these things just so there are people that who are not very used to the socials, but are also on the traditional media watching TV and, and stuff. And then they need to also know who you are. Mm. Yes. So I think it's basically due to the concentration of the media in Accra. Like, you need to be here. You need to be here. Let me ask you this. You know, you took part in the beef, Ghana-Niger beef. Yes. Sakodie and Niger beef. Yes. Why did you decide to join? Um, two things. I think business-wise, as, as an artist, I think it made sense that this is a trend that came, and I think um, the trend started the same day, on, on the same Sunday that Dreamo came as sack. It made sense that I replied him the same day, mm -hmm. because, I mean, the first part is the business part, and second thing is, Sack is the biggest rap export from Ghana. So as a rapper who, who takes inspiration from him, if anybody from the outside who is not mainstream in his country comes to Ghana and then attack our king, I mean, I shouldn't wait for him to, uh, for Sack to address him. I, I'm also in that position to address. So you have to address. Give us a line or two with the address that you gave. Yes, uh, I said um, the only the only guy with the spit in Nigeria is Katarifi. Yes, the only guy with the spit for Nigeria is Katarifi. Uh, all your big boys blew up in Ghana, so pay us some respect and more. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Did he yeah. respond to you? Oh no, I mean I I think he came back with a response, but he gave the response to certain people, okay. and yes, he he felt. Um, maybe I'm not one of the guys he should, he should touch because, mm. yes, my, my response is called wartime. And that's how we fight in Kumasi. If you attack me, I attack your whole generation. Yes, so I went after your whole Nigeria like that. Ah. Everybody, even Tinubu got a share of the kick. What did you say to Tinubu? Um, I can't say that. On, uh, maybe they should listen to the song. Okay, we'll have to go and listen <laughs> to that song. But did you get the, you know, the needed attention, what you needed? Yes, I think um, that was a week prior to my release, so it really helped. It, my, my followers shot up on Twitter, okay. the engagements came, and then I won some new fans. My YouTube subscribers shot up. Oh, wow, that's yes. nice. Yes, so I think business-wise, it made sense that I, 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 I did. And then coming to the second reason why I did mm -hmm. it, like, Sark is the biggest rap, rap export from Ghana. Mm -hmm. Just like nobody can ever step foot in Kumasi and disrespect to Tunfo. Right. You can't. Mm. Nobody can go to my hometown, I have a Kenya, say, and disrespect my king. Nobody will permit it. So if anybody descends into my territory, attacks my king, I have to defend. So Sak is your king? Sak is my king. Sak is, you can have your opinions, but I mean, rap, I seen rap export from Ghana. He's taking it to a height where it motivates all of us. So I think, yes. How will you feel if you have a collaboration with Sak? Oh, I think. Um, it will be one of the greatest, greatest things um, of my career. Because I've been rapping to Sax since DHS day, so I mean, having the chance to be on a song with him will be amazing. I think I've had a few interactions with his team, and then I've sent some songs, so I'm all, I'm all prayerful that it will work out. Which of the songs do you like the most? Sacking songs? Yes. Plenty of. Yeah. But my favorite, I think, is um, Obede, number one. I'm the best MC from the ghetto, C9. Well, I don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> now, tomorrow is yes. actually the TGMAs. Yes, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I know that you haven't received any nominations no, yet. No, please, I have no nomination. It will happen sure. very soon. Sure. You know, maybe next year, sure. you'll be the next King Paluta. Yes, yes, we are hoping. The biggest category, mm -hmm. which is the Artist of the Year category. Mm -hmm. Now, people are mentioning names for you. Who should win it? Um, everybody in there deserves No. <laughs> everybody has one person they are voting for. We didn't give fans if I choose one person. <laughs> it doesn't don't... matter. <laughs> it's just because somebody has done so well in that year. It doesn't mean you are not... You could even not be a fan of that person, mm. but you are being fair. Um, being fair, being fair, being mm -hmm. fair. The year, as in a retrospective, mm -hmm. I think, one guy did it. One guard. Yes. I so think for you, Stone Boy. Yes. I think if, if you are looking at the year in, in uh, like, what we are looking at that year in particular, right. he really spoiled it. Like, I mean, this. What was, exactly made him spoil there for you? Um, collaborations, the album. Um, one of the top features with um, um, this African um, mama, what's his name? What's her name? I forgot. Mm. Um, I think 
he did so well at the end. I mean, he climaxed everything with the top-notch uh, show at the stadium. I mean, I, he did so well. But I think this year, um, Kim Promise has also done mm. very well. He's taking Ghana to a certain height, reaching new territories like the mm -hmm. Asians and all. And I think, yes. But I think um, Stone did so well last year. Yeah. That's what, my opinion, though. What of Nasi? Um, I think with the gospel fraternity, they are not in our faces like that. I, I don't know if it's because most of us do not go to church. But oh, you don't go to church? I go to church. Most of them do not go to church. <laughs> <laughs> but I think yeah, um, Nasi also did amazing. I, I mean, everybody in their category. If we look at Nasi's numbers with Asida, mm -hmm. he's, he's almost topping all of them. Yes, but that is, I think that is where the groundswork also come in. Did Na Nasi break new boundaries with Asida? Mm. Did Nasi host a major concert like, I mean, this happened. Nasi hosted a ma major concert. A major concert like one guy did at the yes. stadium. Yes, he did it at a conference, a national theater. Publicity wise, was it that? Yes, because it was that I'm, big. I'm just hearing of it. Really? For real. Okay, maybe because you are not, you know, a fan. I'm a fan of Nasi. Okay. I'm a fan of Nasi music, yeah, but. Mm. I think... Um, but do you listen to gospel at all? I do. You'll be shocked the number of gospel songs that I can sing. Who's your favorite gospel artist? OG. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. Yes. Which of his songs? I said, I don't know how to sing it. That's what you guys have been holding on to, eh? I said, I don't know how to sing But let me ask you this. Kwame Eugene is also saying that he's done so well. It's not even him saying it's on the records. He's done mm. so well. He released an album, Seven Months. He's at par with, you know, uh, Stoneboy, who did 30 months. Sure, 150. I think he has 150 million across all the ESPs, and it's, it's incredible. But um, like I said, everybody in that, even Blacko, Blacko did so well. Yes, everybody in there deserves to win. So um, tomorrow, I'm hoping to see the best, the best person. And yeah, next year, I'm coming. You, you are. Yeah. We are prophesying year. into that. It's sure. definitely going to sure, happen. Sure, 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 sure. I'm coming. I'm going in there next year. Yeah. yeah. Tell us. You have a new song. Yes, yeah, so the new song is called Ubiya, and it features one of my favorite brothers, LGM Wonder. Yes, um, I think you've seen him on, t uh, on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, here for Right, yeah, right, I right. You. Yes, I chanced on the brother two years ago. Mm -hmm. we, we, I, I moved to him and I told him he's super talented, just like myself. We became friends. So when I made this record, I felt he's the best person to be on it. I sent to him. He sent the verse the same day. We shot the visualizer for it. It's out there. Visualizer by Cute Visuals. Yes, one of my greatest friends who is also doing very amazing in Accra. They are all in Accra, so it makes Kumasi sort of boring for me. <laughs> so that's, me back. that's why you're relocating. To yes, Accra. I'm relocating. But why is it that you are not rapping like you used to? Because this song is more of singing for you. Yes, I've always been doing this singing songs. Okay. 2019, my tape, the Salary EP, featured Trigmatic on a song called this year, and it was just like this song. But I think it's now that people are paying attention to these kind of songs. Okay. Yes. And within this year, I think I've been on DJ Slims in the booth, and it was all fireworks. I've been at um, the Ghana, Niger Beef, I spoiled it. Mm -hmm. But I think we need commerciality. Yeah. Yes. In as much as you want to rap for Chop too. With chop, eh? <laughs> you got chop, don't yes, worry. Amen, amen. So the song is on all the guitar platforms? BI is out on all DSPs, it's out on um, YouTube. Um, Audio Mark, Apple Music, iTunes, everywhere that you stream music, you can just head on there and then search Frimpon as you see on your screens and um, Frimpon, Ubiya, featuring LGM Wonder, and then you'll find it. We've started a TikTok challenge, it's a sing along you can join too. And it's definitely gonna happen for you. Amen. It's Amen. a great song, I've heard it, and I think it's a very fantastic thanks, song. Thanks, thanks. Um, That's a prophecy right there. Yeah. I mean, I anytime it. I meet people and I prophesy, it comes to pass. Amen, I receive So I'm, it. I'm prophesying to you, this song will be one of the biggest songs. Kindly, kindly, <laughs> kindly edit this part. I will go you, save up. You, you, will, you will definitely sit down one day and say I said it. Amen. Yeah, Amen. it will. Amen. It will. It's a great thanks, one. Thanks. And congratulations on it. Thanks. So Obia. Obia is out there. Obia talks about... Is it a love song? It's not a love song, is but... It, is it an inspirational song? It's an inspirational okay. song. Means the hustle that we are going through now, one day when it works out for us, the world will hear of us. Oh, be And I love that. 
Yes. I love that yes. because Charlie, the way people are praying that it'll be a your Omuka. Yes. Fripo, thank you so much for being here. It's been a pleasure. Super you. grateful. <laughs> and we'll see you again. So we have other conversations. I see Nathaniel Ato in his jersey. I don't know why they all decided to wear Real Madrid. Um, Nathaniel, you decided to ditch me alone because I know we are Chelsea fans together. We do this together. But it's okay. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back to stay. <laughs>